Okay, so in this video we are still going to keep working with the joystick, but this time we're going to learn how to um, interact with the joystick in a different way. And what we're actually going to do is we're going to create functions and we're going to assign the events to particular functions so they can actually associate an event within a function. Um, so let's start off with defining the functions. Um, like I said, I've started off, I've imported the stuff that needs to be imported. Um, I've set up my sense hat, I have cleared it. Now I need to define the functions, and I'm going to define, um, let's just make some simple functions here. I'm going to have a function called red, which is sense.clear um, RGB, so it's 25500. No, that's probably a little bit too much. Too, there we are, thank you. Uh, I'm going to go copy that. Um, I'm going to create another function, um, define, uh, let's call this one blue, open close brackets, and then just go and change this to 552 and 0. Um, let's do another function, Oops. define green. So, oh, green. Let's try and make it green. Okay, and so that means the middle one has to be 255. And then finally, let's make another color. Let's make one yellow because it was all yellow. Okay, define the function yellow there. And it needs to be 255 and 255 and then zero. Okay, so I've created my four functions that I'm going to associate. So the next step is I need to associate. Now notice this is, isn't in a loop yet. Um, so I need to associate the functions to an event. So to do that, we say sense um, stick. Now, I can actually refer to particular um, events as in the direction up event and I'm going to send that to the red function now make a, make a uh, notice here that I'm not actually putting brackets at the, at the end here I'm just saying the function without the brackets because if I put the brackets there it would run the red function when this program is first compiled we don't want it we only want it to run when we actually press the up button so make sure you don't put the brackets at the end there um, and let's just copy that and one two three four of those and this one's going to be to blue and this one's going to be to green and this one is going to be yellow so now I've associated those um, now I need to actually run the program and have the sense hat keep going so we do we know we do that with an endless loop so I do a while loop while true, but I've got to have a command to put in here and I, I haven't got a command just because it's all up here. It's all just waiting. So you actually use a um, keyword in Python called pass, which basically is just a, a place keeper. Um, and it will just keep this program running in loop waiting for the set um, for the the event handler to pick up the fact that you actually move that. And when you move that, it will then uh, move the joystick, it will then actually register. So what I want you to do is I want you to pause this now and see if you can predict what you think is going to happen. So have a pause. Okay, so now that you're paused, let's just see if we actually run this and let's see what happens. So if I'm running and I haven't got an error, so that's a good start. And if I come over to the um, pie here, if I press up, it's yellow. And oh, I've associated them all to up. Well, that's not going to work, is it? Um, up, down, left, um, right. Oops. And right. Okay, so I'm just going to stop that and I'm going to run that again. All right, and let's try it now. Red, blue, green yellow in relation to the um, to the joystick. So I've got a little challenge here for you now. What I want you to do is see how it's still going yellow. What I want you to do is I want you to change this code to see if you can make it so it will only flash when the joystick is being pressed in that particular direction. 
Okay, so that's your challenge, and that's our last of our videos in relation to the sense hat.